Spirits, welcome to The Positive Life. I'm Christina, and today we are going to be doing an intuitive message for the new moon in Sagittarius. What our spirit guides are wanting us to know for this new moon in Sagittarius. All right, so I'm going to check with the cards in front of you guys in real time, and we'll go through everything and see what our spirit guides want us to know. All right. Let's see. What do our spirit guides want us to know for this new moon in Sagittarius? Cards will come out first. So I'll pick four first. This one All right, let's see. Our first card is, your dreams need a practical plan. All right. Next card, a new romantic cycle begins. It's time to take action. A personal issue reaches resolution. All right. So just to start in this new moon in Sagittarius, it's the energy of new beginnings, right? Because of the new moon, but it's also the energy of new emotional cycles. So, so far in the cards with a new moon, we've got new, a new romantic cycle begins. So I see that some of us will be going into a new relationship. And the new moon, since it's a new beginning, we need to take action for this, this new beginning for us. We need to start taking action and doing things that'll help the energy of progression for things to evolve and manifest. And with this new moon in Sagittarius, I feel like there's resolution also. You guys, some of you guys will be overcoming some inner emotional like, paradigms. Old, uh, old energies will be resolved and the, it's going to make room for this new moon in Sagittarius. But we also kind of need to be practical. That's why we need to take action because things aren't just going to magically appear for us for the most part, right? Uh, your dreams need a practical plan. We do need to take action. We do need to do our part for us to meet halfway, half, to meet the universe halfway, right? Whether that's going out with friends when normally we stay home, right? We need to take some action. All right, let's pull some more cards. This one is communication is key. It's around the throat chakra. Yes, so communication is key. When it comes to anything we need to manifest, we need to state our intentions, right? We need to let the universe know what we want, what we want to manifest, what our desires are. But we also need to use more communication for just our relationships, right? You can't start a new romantic cycle without using proper communication. 
confidence is your key to success. Yes. And look, with this new moon of Sag in Sagittarius, we, we're pulling a whole bunch of new moon cards. So this whole energy of the new moon, new beginnings is really strong. And we need to be confident with what we want. We can't just be like, I think I want a new job or I think I want spiritual growth. Like we need to know and be assertive, right? We can't just be wishy-washy. You and your loved ones are safe. Another new moon card, guys. So your ancestors, uh, your spirit guides want us to know that we are safe, we are protected, we are guided. And they're guiding, guiding us to our desires. Just believe that. A new start is coming. Another new moon card. That's, that's awesome. Um, I like when things are synchronistic, when I pull cards. So this just confirms a new start is coming. For some of us, it'll be a new romantic relationship. Um, yeah, so let's see what else. And then I'll look at different deck. Nothing is set in stone. And nothing is set in stone. Um, you know, even though we are, we have like a purpose and we are destined for things, we are still the creators of our life. There's still room for, uh, for different outcomes, right? We, we might be destined to do something, but if we decide to do something else, that's gonna be our new destiny. Um, it's all about choice, right? The answers you need are coming. All right, the answers you need are coming. So just know that with this new beginning, if you're stuck like in a stagnant energy, just know that your spirit guides are here and they will send you answers. They will send you signs, whether that's through animals, uh, whether that's through angel numbers, um, synchronicities. Your angel, your spirit guides are going, are here for you. You're guided, right? You're safe. They're here watching over you and they're going to show you the way. You just have to be more open. You just have to be aware, be more present, right? All right, so I'm going to shuffle these cards, this new deck. Let's see what else comes out for us. All right. The chariot, discipline and determination. So with this new beginning, we need to have the confidence. We need to be determined, the discipline to keep going, right? We can't just, we can't just sell ourselves short and just give up when something gets in the way, right? We need to be determined for our manifestations. We need to be determined for this new cycle. What do you want? To achieve in this new cycle, right? Here, let me put this one here. What do you want to achieve? Don't, don't just like be assertive about it. Take charge. We've got six of shells, sentiment, and joy. So even though we need to be assertive and take charge, we also need to go through our daily lives with joy, with, with affection, with emotion, with love, right? We don't want to just give and like just take. Once we want to go through it with gratitude, especially with new beginnings, with new beginnings there's change. It's 
sometimes the change is uncomfortable, but we need to be grateful because without change, there's no growth. Nine of crystals, security, and abundance. So your spirit guides want to know that some of us might be receiving a new romantic relationship. Some of us are going to be coming with uh, receiving security and abundance uh, with this new moon in Sagittarius. So watch out for that. So your spirit guides wants you to know that our manifestations are coming our way. Knight of Shells, Charm and Passion. Another passion card. So I feel like some of us are going to be new beginning for some of us will be a new relationship or even even maybe a stronger relationship if you're already with someone i feel like it's a new relationship a lot of us a lot of us are going to have a new relationship since it is the new moon in sagittarius new beginnings temperance, balance, and harmony. And the spirit guides want us to try to balance everything too. We can't just uh, focus solely on our manifestations. We do have families. We do have lives and jobs, right? We do need to find balance. And so our spirit guides are telling us with that balance and harmony, we need to take some time and center ourselves, whether that's metaphor uh, meditation or a walk in the park or something, you know, ground ourselves. What other messages, spirit guides, for this new moon in Sagittarius? Warrior woman, have you answered your deepest calling? Yes, we're going to be with this new moon. We need to go into it with strength, right? What is calling us? Um, what do we want to manifest, right? What have you answered your deepest calling? Like, what do you want to achieve with this new moon cycle? devotion tune in to the portal of your heart yes so this confirmed what i was just saying about med uh, meditation go within go within with this new moon in sagittarius take some time to yourself it's important to to ground ourselves with the with new beginnings especially with with new like clearing out you know old emotional um energies paradigms it's good to uh go within and restart from the inside out the initiation run of passage crossing the threshold so for some of us some of, like with this new beginning we might feel kind of dark right but just know that our manifestations the things that we want is just right here it's there's a there's a light at the end of the tunnel with persistence and strength we're going to achieve uh, achieve our desires everyone our spirit guides are letting us know there's a light at the end of the tunnel and they're here for you they're watching out for us mirror who or what is triggering you so this confirms with the 
new emotion, like clearing out the old emotional wounds, emotional, um, the old emotional energies. What is triggering us? We need to let it go. Let it go. Let go of the old, leave room for the new, right? Because that's ultimately how, that's how we want to enter our new beginnings, right? With the clean slate. We don't want to leave, like bring our baggage with us or just we would be manifesting the same things. Answer the call. What is your soul calling you to do? Yes, we just got that card. I don't know where, where it went, but oh yeah. Um, what, have you answered your deepest calling? What is your soul calling you to do? So what do you deeply and solely want to manifest? This is the time to do it. This new beginning, this new moon in Sagittarius. Now is the time to do it. And you're not alone. Your spirit guides are here. Mintikin, longing for home belonging, the original light workers. Okay, so this is like a star system and like just know like your manifestations is just right here. It's just around the corner. It's not far. There's light at the end of the tunnel because it's a new beginning, it's a new moon. A new lunar cycle. Your desires are coming. And you need to know your desires are already yours. What you want is already yours. That's how you need to keep your energy about that. It's already yours. And it's going to come to you. It's already yours. Okay, so let's look at one more deck. See any last messages from our spirit guides. Let's see any last messages. messages spirit guides for us for the new moon in Sagittarius mirror everything that is happening in your external life is a reflection of your inner world yes just that's why I said to keep your energies high keep the energy of love Go with this new beginning with love, uh, with gratitude, because whatever we are feeling internally is what we're going to manifest externally. And our spirit guides want us to realize that sometimes we get lost in the external and we kind of forget, we become, we start thinking that we're victims, right? That everything's happening to us and not for us. We are the creators of our destiny. We need to keep. Okay. Karma. You may be involved in a situation that requires justice or fairness. Okay. You may be involved in a situation that requires justice or fairness. So that's why we need to uh, practice discernment. Spirit guides want us to know that we need to use our intuition. There might still be some old energies from the last cycle that we need to clear out before the new, the new beginnings start. That's why we need to meditate and go within and realize, figure out what might be some old things that we need to clear out. What, thing, what things do we need to resolve? 
That's why we need to stay present. Our spirit guides are telling us stay present. Fear. Your fears are keeping you from moving forward into the life that you deserve. So I think, see, yes, just like what I was just saying, I think some of us are still holding on to old energies because sometimes we are afraid of the unknown, right? But our spirit guides are letting us know we can release those. We're not alone. Ground ourselves and release these, these old energies, emotional, um, old paradigms. Soulmate, the relationship is a match made in heaven. Yes, so <sighs> a lot of us is going to meet someone new in this new moon in Sagittarius. There's been too many cards about it. There's going to be a new new relationships, guys. Watch out for it. Magic touch. You are accessing true magic from deep within. Yes. So once we clear out all this new, this we will be clear. We will be resolved. We will be a clean slate for this new beginning, for these new manifestations to come our way. Because we are magical from the inside out. And our spirit guides want us to know that. Okay. All right, guys. So that is your intuitive message for the new moon in Sagittarius. I hope that resonates. If it does, please like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.